Hello cream puffs, it's Gracie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already or you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to join the cream puff squad and support the channel with the post notification bell on so you never miss any time I post. I thought I would make this video because while I did know this, I didn't realize what it meant for the game and for gameplay. So I'm really excited to just tell you guys if you haven't already realized what this could mean. Um, it's gonna be just a quick little video to get it out. Basically, I mentioned this in my things you missed video. So if you haven't watched that, it's a pretty interesting video to figure out what you may have missed from the new update so far, but in it, one of the things is the fact that you can sleep on piles of leaves. So these piles of leaves are like gathered around Halloween houses when you're trick-or-treating, around the fountain, all that type of stuff. But basically, you can like go on it, you know, and then you can either rest or sleep just like a normal bed. But what I realized is this is so much more helpful than I thought it was originally. I was like, oh cute, that's cute, you know, like fall, bed, yeah. But then I realized the leaf piles are around all over the place, but they're also around the apple bobbing station and the trick-or-treating houses. And we all know that many players are spending like copious amount of times just like farming or running around. And what is running around waste? Your energy, which means your energy is probably going down a lot faster than it normally would because I'm not sure how many people role played and ran around the castle like 24 seven, but now because of the fact that everyone's trick or treating and running around or walking, 24 7 this opens a pretty great opportunity we can take advantage of which you probably may already have guessed leveling up if you didn't already know every time you sleep it gives you xp when you wake up so the best time to sleep is when your energy bar is exactly at zero and how can you check this you may ask just go onto your phone and check that energy bar and yeah sleep Basically, everyone was sleeping in their apartments before if they wanted to get their levels up, but now you can just sleep on the, like, leaves. Plus, it's really helpful because you're probably already walking around Wickery Cliffs, and your energy, whether you know it or not, is definitely going down quite a bit. So make sure you're sleeping as much as you can because you'll level up so much faster. And this is actually even better because leveling up gives you diamonds every single level you level up. For me, it gives me about 1,800, but that's because I have multipliers, so it may be different for you. Either way, it gives you diamonds nonetheless, and it's a really great way to get your level up and get a couple diamonds while you're farming for candy. I thought I'd just share it with you guys. I always knew you could sleep on them, but I realized what this means and how convenient it is they're placed beside like major farming areas. Make sure you do this for your farming routine. One last thing, I was originally gonna be like, I feel like I should make a whole video on just this, but I didn't have enough tips to make kind of like the fastest way to candy farm part two and then include a bunch of tips. So if you have any more tips that I haven't mentioned in my previous video, feel free to comment them down below. I'd love to read everything you guys have to say and respond to them and maybe even include them in a future video. If this tip was helpful to you, don't forget to give it a like so other Royal High players can see it and watch it too. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to join the Cream Puff Squad with that post notification bell on. It'd be greatly appreciated and I'll see you all next time. Bye!